Hey guys, welcome to my show and today I'm going to take a look at Dropler which is a cloud storage service for Mac and it it works just like Dropbox but it only works with Twitter. So if you upload a file to the Dropler web server, it will show you a link and it will paste that link to your favorite Twitter apps or any web browser you use uh, to so you can share that link with your Twitter friends and um, once you log in you will get one gigabyte of free storage service and uh, you don't have to create a new account to use uh, Dropler all you do is log in uh, with your Twitter username and password so <clears throat> I'm gonna show you the web interface uh, later on so I'm gonna minimize that window and let me show you the how the app works so this is the Dropler icon and it's a small download all you do is go to their website download this app once you download it and install it it's going to show up in your menu bar and <clears throat> when i click on it it's going to show me my recent drops so these are the f uh, files i uploaded to the dropper website and um, let's look at the preferences <clears throat> in general there's like basic few options and the second tab is twitter this is the most important one so uh, you can select which Twitter app you wanna use with Dropler and for example I'm using twitter.com with my Safari web browser but you can use other other Twitter apps such as Tweety, Ecophone or Bluebird so for example if you use Bluebird and you upload a uh, any picture to Dropler website it's gonna show up the link and all you do is click on the link and uh, Dropler will automatically paste that link to your Bluebird app so you, so you can just tweet, uh, tweet with your other friends or share that link with your Twitter friends and so let me show you how it works I'm gonna minimize I'm gonna close this window and let's take a quick screenshot of Doppler I'm gonna upload it to Doppler web server so I'm gonna zoom back bring back my Doppler website over here I'm gonna take a look I'm gonna take a screenshot of this icon minimize this window so that's the screenshot I just took and I want to share this screenshot with my Twitter friends so all I have to do is dra uh, hold this icon and drag it drop to this dropler icon over here let me zoom in so once I do that it's gonna upload that file and it will show me a link that I can post that link to Twitter so this is the link for that picture so all I have to do is click on this icon so let me bring back again so all I have to do is click on this T icon T uh, for Twitter so I'm gonna click on that so my Safari <coughs> uh, with Twitter is on so it launches my Safari with Twitter and paste uh, the, that link so I can share with my friends so all you do is write down over here and post a new tweet so this is how it works so you can upload any pictures videos anything you want to share with your Twitter friends so let's get back to the main website and show you how it works let me log in so once you log in this is the main uh, uh, window you will see the the home window will show you all the files you have uploaded so far and how many views uh, how many clicks you got and the second up tab is for pictures so this is the pictures I just uploaded uh, so I'm gonna click on this picture I'm gonna delete it and this is the first picture I took and it says t uh, 10 views that I, uh, I clicked on 10 times just to see how many it, it works or not and you can uh, categorize a uh, file by file name size link views and uploaded time you can also see your links that the, these are the links I have sh uh, posted to Twitter and stuff like that so it's really easy to use if you want to share uh, your screenshot any files uh, with your Twitter friends uh, all you have to do is drag and drop that file it will show you the link and it's, it's really easy to use a one gigabyte of file storage so if you are a Dropbox user, you might want to try out Dropler for free. So this is my review for Dropler. I highly recommend it. It's easy to use. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter username is Scrudini. And I post a comment about this app. Do you guys like it or not? So I will see you guys next time. Take care.